How will you know if your baby's latched on correctly? So we've kind of touched on this a little bit already. Now, the difference, this is a bad latch and this is a good latch, okay? Gonna go through five different things that will tell us that your baby is latched on well. So the first thing will obviously be, be pain and discomfort. If your baby is nipple feeding, what they're doing is they are literally nipple crippling you, okay? They are chomping on your nipple. So that is gonna cause you pain and discomfort. So if you feel that and you forget any of the other things that I'm gonna talk about now, if you feel pain, take baby off and just relatch baby. Now to take baby off, when baby's latched on, you do not want to just pull baby off because your baby will drag the nipple with you and cause with it and cause really bad nipple trauma. What you want to do is as baby's sucking or on your nipple, you want to use your pinky and you just kind of you might have to forcefully just push it into the side of the baby's mouth. And what baby should start doing is release the suction of the nipple and then start either going towards your finger or start sucking it and then you can take baby away from your nipple and then um yeah take baby off your uh, off your nipple okay so don't pull baby off release the suction um so that's the first thing that will tell you is your baby on correctly or not the second thing um i talk about is the shape of your the baby's lips around your breast um so if the baby's on the nipple you will notice this doll isn't that great for it, but you'll notice, I'm going to use my fingers, you'll notice that from a side angle, it's like a V shape, okay? So baby, when baby's on the nipple, they have a V shape. Compared to, again, if you're looking from a side view or, a, you know, um, bird's eye view, if the baby's on the breast, you'll notice that because the mouth is really nice and wide, you'll notice a C shape. Uh -huh. So V versus C, okay? So we want a nice wide latch, lot of breast tissue in its mouth. Um, so we want that C shape. So that's the second thing that you want to be looking out for. The third thing you want to look out for is how much areola is visible. Again, when the baby's just on the nipple, um, when the baby's just on the nipple, the chin doesn't touch the breast, so you'll be able to see the areola at the bottom. However, when the baby's on correctly, because the chin touches the breast and because the bottom lip is well away from the nipple, you'll see more areola at the top than you will the butt bottom. But whereas if baby is on just the nipple, the chin doesn't touch the breast, so you'll see areola at the bottom as well as the top. Um, the fourth thing is baby's cheeks. So when the baby is breastfeeding, their cheeks, it's like biting a burger, uh, chewing a burger, sorry. The cheeks are nice and puffy. Okay, whereas compared to when they're on the nipple, they're drinking through a straw. So it's going to be, cheeks are going to pinch in. So we want nice, full, puffy cheeks. Um, and the last thing you're going to look out for is the rhythm of the sucking. If your baby is doing this, the cheeks are pinching in, they're drinking through a straw, sucks are very, very rapid. And they don't really stop to pause. Whereas when they're breastfeeding and they've got a good latch and a lot of breast tissue in its mouth, they're gonna suck very, very slowly. They're gonna stop, pause, swallow, and they might take a little break and then they're gonna go again. Okay, now the reason why there's a difference in two, these two sucks is if your baby is on the nipple, your milk ducts, and this is what I want you to take away from this, because a lot of moms unfortunately stop breastfeeding due to sore nipples. So we really want to avoid sore nipples as much as possible. Your milk ducts are all the way around here. At the end of your nipple is the end of the milk duct. So if your baby's pressing here, they're not compressing where the milk is actually sitting. They're compressing at the end of the milk duct. So they're not actually going to get that much. So that's why they are going to constantly feed and they're going to go really, really fast because they're working really hard to draw milk out that's not really there. They may get a few drops here and there, but it's not going to be enough to sustain the feed. So you'll find that they're going to keep going. They're going to feed for a long period of time and they're going to cause trauma to your nipple and all because they're not 
um, effectively getting enough milk from the breast. Whereas if your baby's on the breast, so if their mouth is much wider, they are complex, a bit like hand expressing. If you hand express here, you're not going to get anything. Whereas when we get you to correctly hand express is here. This is where the milk ducts are. So when your baby's breastfeeding, the lips are kind of around here, the bottom lip is here, and they're compressing on the milk duct. Now when they're compressing on the milk duct, because the milk flows, they are going to take slow, slow um sucks because they've got a lot of milk coming so they don't need to go really really fast they're going to stop to swallow and then they're going to go again okay they may even stop to pause because when they breastfeed they're essentially doing this this starts aching after a while even as adults if we do it so that's the same for a baby so we would expect them to stop pause 10 seconds, 30 seconds, maybe even a minute, but they'll go again. As long as they're still latched on, do not take baby off if they've stopped because they're probably most likely taking a break. When baby is done, the baby kind of goes into what you've seen and would have heard of a milk coma. And it's a bit like us when we are on our phones at night and if we um, fall asleep, our phone kind of just drops out of our hand quite naturally. So same with the breast and the nipple. Like when the baby's falling asleep, the baby's going to just slowly drift off and come off the breast itself. So that's how you will know your baby is done. When baby comes off the breast itself, you would offer the second breast. If they take it, great. Um, if they don't, absolutely fine as well. It is possible for babies to get enough feed from one breast. But if they do take the second breast, that's absolutely fine as well. You would just offer that breast the next time, even if they if they do take the second breast. Because if they do 20 minutes on this breast and 10 minutes on that breast, with the next feed, you want to start off with this breast. Because if you keep starting off with the right breast, for example, this breast is always getting stimulated more longer because the baby's doing 20 minutes here and 10 minutes there. So you want to equalize the amount of times that baby's on the breast. So offer the second breast. If they take it, great. If they don't, it's absolutely fine as well. Breastfeeding in my opinion, should not be painful at all. The initial few sucks you may find is quite painful or tugging or a bit pinchy because as long as the latch is good, um, it could be that baby has to just work really hard to draw the milk out. But once the milk starts flowing, that pain, discomfort should go. The whole feed should not be painful. If your latch looks good, and the feed is still painful, something is going on, okay, something is wrong.